Well, well I, I believe, believe I'm alive. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing, doing really, really well. well. And, and if, if you are watching this on the replay, replay you can participate by leaving a comment below and uh, ask questions, questions there because, because we do watch this afterwards. afterwards. We keep an eye on the comments and we do try to answer everything. I'd like, like to say, say welcome, welcome to, to my channel. channel. My name is Brad, and, and I, I do a drone video, video every single week, including a live stream. And this, this is the live stream. If you haven't figured that out, today, today we're going to talk about a couple of articles I saw today about new drone battery technologies that have come out. And one, one of them is in the link below. It's actually, actually everything is in the description below. You can see the links down there uh, because I tried to throw the web page up on the video. And, and it didn't, didn't work. It's, it's just the, the web page would not come up properly. It looked totally, just, just like totally crap. crap. Oh, there's, there's an, an echo. echo. Great. Great. That's, That's uh, probably that. Is the echo gone? Is the echo gone? Please tell me the echo is gone. Maybe? No? Yes? I had to make a change because of the video that I put up. Oh, it's still coming up. Yes. Okay, it's gone. Okay, good. Gone. Then I know what I have to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what I want to see. <sighs> Welcome to the live stream where anything can happen. You never know what's going to go on. Because I had to, you remember last week when I showed Craig's video and you had no audio, well, I made a change to so, so I can show you the next one of the videos today so that you can hear the audio. And guess what? Created an echo. <sighs> thank you, everybody, for letting me know. Anyway, welcome to the live stream. Uh, everything I have has got descriptive. There's uh, links in the description below. A couple things I want to do. I want to talk about. First of all, thanks to everybody who uh, went and subscribed to Owen. I know he appreciates it. He's got some new videos coming out in the next uh, probably seven days, probably less. I'm not going to spoil it, and I don't think you should either, Owen. They should just be there to watch your stuff. Um, and again, thank you for everybody going and checking that out. And I do see that you're here. We got Craig. We got Matt. Hey, Matt, glad you could show up. Cyber Bronco, nice to see you. Uh, you're a new guy. I'd like to say hi to everybody that's new. And RL is here. Uh, we don't want to know what tomorrow is. It's February 1st. But anyway, we've got to talk about batteries. Ooh, exciting stuff. Uh, batteries, why am I talking about them? Because, uh, yeah, I see that, Matt. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you made it. Um, um, <laughs> see, you guys already pulled me off topic. So anyway, I saw these articles today about batteries and the battery technology that's coming around. And you guys can check out the links below um, where I've got a video. I'm actually going to play a, the main excerpt of the video on the chat or on the stream. Uh, and I want to say that that's, uh, I pulled that from a channel called Cold Fusion. And I really like his stuff because he's always got cool and thought-provoking and just really cool tech stuff of future stuff. And uh, he works for a company, I don't remember, I just remember that he works for a company that has like an insight on a lot of these. And Neil's in the house. How's everybody? How's Neil doing? Uh, but first, I do want to show you guys this thing. This, this I saw this, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour ago. And I, I saw this comment. You guys got to see this comment. This was left on my uh, review video, my 2017 review video. And here's what it was. Stacy loves me. Can you believe that? Oh my God. I just can't believe it. Do you think? I mean, if you look, it was in the spam. <laughs> so it was in the spam. Great. Now, do you think, do you think that maybe she really does love me? Oh, wait. I'm thinking, I'm thinking she might be a scammer. My heart, my heart is broken. <laughs> I had to share that with you guys. I thought that was really funny because I see, that's all I saw is, I love you. Yeah, Neil, I bet you are, Stacy. You scare me. Um, so, yeah, that was definitely a spammer, scammer, all that good stuff. And no thank you. But when I first saw that, I'm like, who's this? <laughs> of course, it was already in my spam uh, directory, so I knew it was trash anyway. But I just thought it was hilarious. And, Neil, I hope you don't love me because that's just kind of weird. <laughs> a little creepy, yeah, I'm at it, but, but she was, at least, they, at least they put a picture of a cute girl on there. I, I'm sure it has no bearing of who the actual person is. Do I really want another Russian bride? I don't even have one Russian bride, so I guess that would be a problem. <laughs> My Chinese wife would have a problem with that. I'm pretty sure about that. So uh, anyway, let's get back into batteries. <laughs> 
um, batteries. First of all, I saw this article, and again, this is a link below. You can read the article. Um, it's about, uh, I got to even look up the, uh, the name of the company. Let me look, let me look. Where is it at? I actually have to look at my, oh. See, and I had it in my head. There it is. Um, solid Energy Systems. So the Solid Energy Systems is uh, really got a, a big deal thing going on, a big thing going on. They're using lithium metal to create batteries. They're using, and it's actually a, a, a group from MIT that's spawned off of MIT now, and they're doing uh, batteries, and they've actually gotten like $50 million in, in first-round investment. They're actually producing these batteries these batteries, again, lithium metal, and they um, last twice as long as a normal battery with the same density and the same everything else, has the twice the juice and everything else. You guys, you battery guys will know more about this. I mean, Matt, I'm sure you know all the technical words and all that because you really deal more with batteries. But they fly life, well, lithium is a metal. Yeah, watch, look at the article in the link and read it. It's not lithium polymer. It's lithium metal. That's what they call it. So don't give me no crap. I'm reading what I'm, I'm telling you what I'm reading. So they give you twice the power. So you're, and, and what the, the most important thing that's drone related is that they're already in small quantity productions and they are producing solely for drones, for consumer drones. I don't know which ones. They did not have any listed that I saw, but they're doing drones. And they're saying that your average 20-minute drone will last 40 minutes with the same size battery because it will last longer. It has more punch to it. So awesome. You know, that is that is a fantastic. I'm loving it because, you know, they're doing it first with drones. And they, yes, twice the energy density. So you probably checked it out. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> I had a something happen right when I drank. <coughs> ah, RL, it is less dangerous than lipo. It is actually extremely not explosive, so it's even better. I, I highly suggest you read the articles. Read the article that I have down there because it's an article that's not about them, and they also have a link to their to their uh, thing. So. Check it out before you start saying it's all bad and ugly and this and that. Check out that article. And uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe I can do a screen. You know, I've never done a screen share before. I don't know if I can do it. Let's try. Let's try a screen share, okay, guys? We're going to we're gonna do... Ooh, what happened? Uh-oh. My chat died. My chat died. Uh-oh. Got to kill it. Got to get fix the chat. Fix the chat. Where's the, Where's my chat? Uh, okay, why did that die on me? Okay, there we go. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> when are they for sale? I don't know when they're going for sale, but uh, they are supposed to... Do they catch fire or do they float? Yes and no. <sighs> okay, you guys are going to drive me nuts because you know you haven't read the articles yet. Lithium metal batteries, commercially, and they're appearing first in drones. A spin out of MIT. Uh, the drone makers, that means a drone can fly further longer in a single charge. For example, 20, bat 20 minutes can be 40 minutes. Um, said the company is now selling batteries in low volumes to drone makers and companies that are looking to bring wireless internet to rural areas. Crowdfunding, oh no, I'm sorry, closed on funding round of 34 million, and they're looking at another 50 million. Uh, or no, they've raised a total of $50 million. Let me, I'm looking at the, the company's batteries also use a semi-solid material for the electrolyte, replacing the, replacing the flammable liquid usually found in lithium-ion batteries. The two-part breakthrough creates a battery with an energy density of 450 watt-hours per kilogram and 1,200 watt-hours per liter. Uh, so it's going to be the successor to lithium-ion, so it's going to be safer than lithium-ion. Already selling bears and low volumes today. Uh, the perfect da, da 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 da. So between the two technologies, quiet. Between the two technologies, it's going to be a better battery. And that's just one of the news articles I have. Uh, the other one's about Samsung, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But 
Well, aren't lipo batteries even worse than lithium ion? I mean, I have more, I've seen scarier videos from lithium polymers than lithium ion. So Tesla tech, yeah, and, and Tesla opened up their patents. So yeah, it could easily be Tesla tech. Ooh, we dropped, we dropped a bunch of uh, viewers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. Um, so <sighs> I'm excited because anything that's gonna give me twice the power and be safer on my on my drones, I'm a happy man about that. Very, very, very much happy. Uh, and I see it is. I'm I'm lost on the 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 drones. Okay, so do they catch fire? Or do they float? Oh, I saw. I read that, Scott. Okay, so anyway, when are they for sale, Lynn? They are being used. They're being sold to drone manufacturers now again in low volumes because they are they don't have the capacity to do high volume, but they are using current um, manufacturing technologies and current plants so that they can ramp up a lot faster. You still have us. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Thanks, RL. You guys are wonderful. <laughs> Make me cry. <laughs> so that's one. I think, I don't know. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Now, the other breakthrough. Hey, Golden Optic. How is how is you? Boy, my English is bad now. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Still here just watching. Yeah, Owen's around. He's just, and I texted Brian. We'll see if Brian shows up. Um, but I also texted him kind of late. So we'll see. Anyway, I also want to talk about this other technology by Samsung. Again, this is from Cold Fusion, a YouTube channel. I've got a link in the video, in the description below to this exact video, but I've actually kind of removed his uh, self-promotion out of it. But I do, he is a very, very good channel. So here I go. I'm going to play this, and I hope you get audio. I'm going to mute the microphone and start the speaker. So I'm going to mute, and you're going to... I'm going to go away and you should be able to hear sound. So Samsung has announced that they have developed a way to improve lithium ion battery technology with graphene. So what is graphene? Graphene is a crystalline form of carbon in which a single layer of carbon atoms are arranged in a regular hexagonal pattern. Think of it like this. Imagine a diamond. Now slice this diamond so it's only just one atom thick. This slice is still as strong as a diamond, but flexible, light, and an excellent conductor of heat and electricity. Graphene's material properties are staggering. It's the thinnest material known to man and the strongest ever measured. It can stretch up to 20% of its length and is the most efficient electrical conductor known. And at room temperature, it can sustain current densities six orders of magnitude higher than that of copper. It has the best thermal conductivity of any material and is the most impermeable material ever discovered. It's incredible stuff. Just as a visual illustration of just how strange graphene is, here is a video of some carbon nanotubes, which are basically a rolled up version of graphene. So with that in mind, let's take a closer look at Samsung's graphene battery. Samsung's version of graphene comes in the form of little balls, basically a 3D structure synthesized from silicon dioxide. Here are some magnified images of the growth of graphene balls from silicon dioxide. Magnified. And magnified again. These graphene balls cover the anode and cathode material. This enables the batteries to charge five times faster than currently possible, as well as some other benefits which we'll talk about in a bit. The new battery technology was developed by Samsung SDI, which is the company's battery arm, and the Samsung Advanced Institute of Technology. These two bodies were in collaboration with the Seoul National University's School of Chemical and Biological Engineering. As a side point, Samsung SDI just unveiled some new battery tech at the 2018 Detroit Motor Show that claims that just after 20 minutes of charge, they can power an electric car for 600 kilometers. All right, so what are the advantages? These graphene balls, when put on the cathode of the battery, suppress the damaging reactions that occur with continued charging while also improving efficiency of current flow. The new cells are said to retain 78.6% of the capacity after 500 charge cycles, this is about on par with current batteries, but this should improve with time. In the case of extremely rapid charging, things are a little bit different. 
Here's a chart of the capacity of a regular battery versus a battery with graphene balls added over time. This is in the scenario with extreme charging. Notice the steep drop off of the regular battery, which is the black dotted line. Normal batteries in comparison just can't handle the current. Samsung also states that these new batteries could have 45% higher capacities than when compared to the current state of the art. Charging times will be 12 minutes instead of one hour. A lot of people might be thinking that this new technology would be expensive, and that's quite logical. But Samsung does claim that these graphene balls are cheap to manufacture because it's using a new method called chemical vapor deposition. Quote, our research enables mass synthesis of multifunctional composite material graphene at an affordable price. At the same time, we were able to considerably enhance the capabilities of lithium ion batteries where markets for mobile devices and electric vehicles is growing rapidly. Our commitment is to continuously explore and develop secondary battery technology in light of these trends." End quote. It's probably important to note that this isn't just some hypotheticals or some conjecture, but rather the results after some rigorous testing. The detailed paper was published in Nature and can be found online and I'll leave a link to it below if you're interested in reading more about the technology. So while this is very exciting stuff, Samsung has not yet stated when they plan to release the technology. And after what happened with the Galaxy Note 5, I think they'll be taking some precautions to make sure everything is in order before release. So a battery with 45% higher capacity and 12 minutes charging time sounds promising and I think if there's any company that has the resources to make this happen, it would be Samsung. Apple sure has the money, but they don't seem to be as widespread and dedicated in their research departments. So what do you guys think of that? I saw that Joe came in. Hey Joe, yes, we'll work on it. Uh, sorry, I. You can ask people who've been talking to you. This has been a really bad week for me personally. I've got some other crap going on that, you know, it's just nothing to do against you. <laughs> just <laughs> lots of crap. Anyway, um, I the graphene batteries. I, wow. I mean, the, the thought of being able to charge a battery, you mean, granted it's for your phone, but they would probably bring that to drones, I'm assuming, that technology. Um, that would be so cool. What about if they combine these two and make graphene and lithium metal? I don't know if that's even possible to make graphene and lithium metal, whatever they can do, and make it all work nice together so you get this beautiful charge. Um, okay, thanks, Joe. Um, uh, so, yeah, I think that would be awesome to do that because, I don't know, I just I want better batteries for my drones. I mean, I know we all do. And, Joe, I think you said the mini quads. Yeah, you said the mini quads are great. And, Scott, you had said you heard about graphene last year. Me too. I mean, I've heard about it, and I've been kind of watching it. And when I saw this video, this came out today on this guy's channel. And if you really are into the tech and the, and the cool futurism kind of stuff, Cold Fusion is a really cool channel, and I highly recommend you go to it. If you go to the, his video in the link below, you'll get his channel, and you can subscribe. Um, he doesn't need my help to grow. He's a lot bigger than me. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope, I don't know, I just, I get excited to think that, you know, or when, when the time will come, because it's not if, yeah, it's when, when the time will come when you can fly a drone, you not have to buy 50 batteries or even two batteries. You can just have one battery to last several hours and whatever. And it actually, in the video I showed you, uh, his pre-log to the whole thing, he actually flew in an electric plane that I don't know what the range was. I don't know anything about that, but he says he's got a video coming out about that. But that was cool. And when he when you heard it from the outside, you didn't hardly hear the plane at all. It was really quiet. Did you like my... Yes, Owen, I do like your new photo on your Facebook. I'm not telling anybody. I'm not telling anybody what you're doing. I think you should hide what you're doing so you just get your videos out there. But that's cool. You can just tell people new stuff is coming. Um, how much... Our battery is going to be due to the massive R&D. Exactly, Joe, and how much are they going to be? Are they going to be, if if I get a battery that has double capacity for the same size as what I have now, is that going to be double the price? Is it going to be triple the price, half the price, the same price? They, I haven't seen any information on pricing of these batteries, and I would love to know what they are. He told me already. Oh, man, Squappy. I'm, I, he told me to. I should talk to him. <laughs> high at first. Yeah, exactly. And, and Matt, you're right. Batteries are going to be high. And Matt was going to try to get in on this, but uh, because of the way I start this live stream when I do my own, I don't use Google Hangouts, and that's the only way I can bring someone else in that I have found so far. I mean, Skype might work. If, uh, Matt, you had Skype, we could test it really quick on the live stream, but it would be a one-quick test. 
and that's it. <laughs> if it didn't work, um, yeah, exactly. And as manufacturing comes down, it will it will get perfected, and that is that's what I'm looking at. I mean, I I think I hope that it's not too much longer. You know, I really hope it's not too much longer. I hope it's not more than a year, and we start seeing these double capacity batteries coming out. That would be fantastic. Because if I had if I didn't have to buy six batteries, now I had to buy three batteries. Even if those three batteries cost me the same as six, it's worth it. And especially if the charge, sorry, Matt, especially if the charge doesn't take as long, you know, if it's an hour and a half to charge a battery instead of an hour, and if it uses the same equipment that I have for my now batteries, you know, I can still charge my same drone battery or my new drone batteries with my same equipment, and I don't have to buy new equipment, I've got no problem with it. And I can't see that that would be a problem because in order for them to put my battery in, this drone now it has to be you know the same you know this the internals got to be the same as far as how it uh how it delivers power to the drone ah <sighs> troubles they've had the tech for years <laughs> yeah yeah they and they're just perfecting it the graphene the graphene thing is so cool i like how she pulled out the nanotubes or the graphene tubes and they just kind of floated there in the air because they're lighter than air, or how that one piece was just sitting on top of the feather. That was really, really cool. Just need a high discharge rating. So you guys are you guys are more battery freaks. You know, Joe, Matt, you guys know your batteries better than I do. All I know is that I charge a battery. I know how to make sure that they don't go dead. I know how to maintain the batteries. But when you talk all the details of amp hours and milliamp hours and the blah 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 I, I don't care you know I, as long as i know that my drone's going to fly 20 minutes i know how to look on my remote to see how long it's going to fly yeah the search super capacitors i've heard of those i have heard of those hey stan how are you nice to see you you came in just after we talked about everything batteries so you're here just to give me crap now right <laughs> Oh, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, sorry, I, I've got to drink water. It is dry here, and my my I'm, it's it's constantly giving me a problem. <laughs> That's a funny way to charge batteries, RL. I, I I think that that might not work too well. Just just a thought, just just a little thought. <laughs> thanks joe personal batteries yes the, the, your brain batteries your 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 body batteries for the ham and potatoes oh my gosh oh your so that's you that's exactly what squappy was saying <sighs> oh hey uh other news i don't know if you guys are have been uh looking at this i think it's over here you can see there should be some cards over here i think maybe uh, I started my Patreon. I decided to go ahead and do it. People have been bugging me. You need to do it. Um, I did it, and I have exactly zero supporters, which, you know, I just started it, so why would I expect anything different? The way it's rigged, the way I've set it up, the way it's rigged, <laughs> the way I set it up is that uh, it's on a per video, on a per live stream. So every live stream I do, up to four in a month, no more than four, even if it's a, a week with five in it i would only charge for four live streams a month you don't I mean, if you guys know anything about patreon you can always put a limit on how much you spend on a monthly basis so if you do the two level and you only want to spend four dollars a month it will stop you at the four dollars it's not going to make you spend any more than you should or than you want so i've got different levels you can check the patreon out if you really want to do that i would appreciate it and we have some uh some benefits in there for you you can check out the different reward levels um, that I have and you know I have I think I named my reward levels pretty well if you have any ideas of some other naming conventions just check it out did I convince you since I sent you my link I'm lost send, huh? send my link of what are you talking to you guys or not talking to me uh, oh oh Squappy yes with the Patreon well I saw that you had the Patreon because I'm gonna hopefully I'm, I'm trying to get your stuff again I had a shit storm of stuff happened in the last couple days. I have not had, I barely had time to do the work I'm getting paid for. Um, but yes, pay, yeah, you actually pushed me over the edge. I've, I've had, I've actually had it set up 
but I had to actually create the goals and I had to create the different levels and I just had to do all that and then and just kind of modify a little bit put up my new logo and that's what I did I mean yeah you you kind of shoved me over the fence <laughs> so yes and I and for people who want to know I'm going to create some uh, lower thirds graphics kind of like what you see here when it pops up I'm gonna create little things like this and the little things that um hang on like uh do 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 this right here i'm going to do stuff like this and the facebook stuff for for craig when i get the chance he sent me the stuff I, i'm going to do what i can and i'm probably going to do it for matt too um if you guys are interested in something like that that's something that i would that's a service i will provide for people and i'm not horribly expensive it's only like 20 million dollars for a second or we can work a deal out <laughs> So it's it's kind of like that. I know you don't have any goals on yours. I just I, I want to help. I mean, it's just kind of fun. These are things. I mean, this kind of stuff is fun. I like doing those. I, it, it's all in After Effects. I do it all in After Effects. So I can make it so that it fits in Premiere Pro, uh, and then you can easily use it in Premiere Pro. I mean, that's all all the stuff you see in my normal my my edited videos. That's stuff that I've created that I just I like doing it. It's a lot of. Uh, it's a lot of fun for me. So these are like little things I'm trying to do, help out. You know, I got the Patreon, and yes, it is kind of thing. Is that worse than a snowstorm? Yes, it's worse than a snowstorm, RL. Much, much worse. I deal with a snowstorm any day of the week, no problem. And and I wish, I wish this weren't water. <laughs> and uh, and that's one of the reasons I'm kind of glad that Craig is not in a rush because I'll get to it as soon as I can. I have. I have ideas of what I want to put together, and I just don't have a ton of time to do it. And I may be having to, I may be doing a road trip this weekend, which would mean cool videos for you guys. It just means I won't be Ubering this weekend, and I, that's that's a problem. Uh, so, do we have any more comments? I mean, this is this is kind of a short. So far, it's a short live stream, guys. What's going on? Is it because I don't have Matt in here? Is it because I don't have Craig in here to chat? I mean, what's up with you guys? Maybe I should have just had Scott come in. I do have over 2K subs. Isn't that awesome? Road trip to Florida? No, but it is going south. And Neil might be going with me. <laughs> we wish it was to Florida, but it's not. It's something that uh, we can talk about some other time. I'm playing STO. STO. 2074. Thank you very much. That means I got a couple subscribers since we started this. Maybe. Stella! I'm sure that's how she hears that every time. Every time you say that, that's what that's what I hear. But I like Stella Artois. Because that's if anybody wants to send me, you know, a six pack. Oh, Star Trek Online. Elo Elo. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, because you know. <laughs> You're from the other side of the pond. So it's nice to see you, Stella. Glad you could join us. I hope you got to see some of the battery stuff. Three, two, one, cry. <laughs> hey, Owen, am I allowed to tell anybody what you're doing? Do you want me to tell them? Do you care? Do you even give a crap? <laughs> Budweiser's parent company. Yellow. <laughs> oh, really quick. I want to know also, Owen, uh, do you think you got any new subscribers? You don't mind? So the deal with Owen, since since he doesn't mind, and I saw a picture, because if you look at his Facebook page, he has a new picture up, and he bought a brand new DJI Obsidian. So he's just having a good time getting it unboxed. I think he's going to do an unboxing of it, and he's going to put some demo videos up. He's going to put other videos up, and you know he's got the talent, so can't wait to see it. So, Scott, I just... I just ask questions that make you groan. I listened to a video on the way home by someone who said, don't buy the Mavic Air because the Mavic Pro 2 is coming in the next couple of months. Oh, 321 subs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Supposedly from a Chinese source. Don't buy the Mavic Air because the Mavic Pro 2 is coming in the next couple of months. Well, you know, that wouldn't surprise me. See, the Mavic, the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air are two different drones. Um, they're di just barely different, but they're different. Um, I think the Mavic Air currently is probably a hair better than the Mavic Pro, but there's they're all they're pretty much similar things. But the the Mavic Two, when it comes out, it should be a better drone. 
and it might also cost twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. I hope not, because that means the Phantom Five Pro or Phantom Five will be sixteen, seventeen hundred, and that's getting a little too crazy. Yay, you're in. Thanks, Stan. Hey, how? Hey, Al, how's it going? What do you think about the five hundred one gold black drone? Uh, the 501 Gold Black Drone. Someone help me out here. That's a new one on me. I hope you guys know what he's talking about. I do not. Uh, because now if you're talking about the Subsidian, which I'm pretty sure you're not, the Air is Wi-Fi only. That's... No. I thought they had... Oh, the Air's... I thought because it had the remote. Does the remote that comes with it in the... Does that... Is that a Wi-Fi remote? If that's a Wi-Fi remote, interesting. And you're right. That means that the li the range would be limited to a lot shorter. You wouldn't want to fly. And I do. Someone I saw something where someone said that you don't want to fly the air more than a couple hundred feet. But from what I also hear again from DJI is that it can do uh, uh, pretty heavy winds. The Mavic range is done by Wi-Fi, which is terrible. Okay, there you go. There's a big difference. No, uh, yes. Thus, yes, exactly half the range of the pro so yeah then they're not the same drone they're not they're definitely that's one of the biggest limitations i i had totally spaced that out that that's one of the things and that would have irritated me if i'd have bought one and then oh i can't fly that far tested to 100 one point and a quarter miles 1.25 miles that's actually not horrible but in the city in chicago i wouldn't trust it i wouldn't trust going that far the hubson oh there you go al is that the hubson H501S. Now, yeah, I'm not a big. I've not. I've not done much Hubsons, obviously. And here's the thing. I mean, guys, it, I, one of the things I'm seeing a lot of drone channels, and it's fine. But I don't. I, I'm. I, I'm going to try not to go this route. Is that I see a lot of drone channels only doing drone reviews of different drones and all this. If I get an, a Mavic Air, if I get a Mavic Pro 2, if I get an Autel, if I purchase it, I will do a review. I'm not going to review all of these. I mean, I might do the little drones that I have already. I might review something like this, but don't count on it. Um, I might just say these are cool drones to begin to fly around the house, um, but not an in-depth review. I don't want to be a review channel. I want to be all about the creativity and some of the technology coming out that it, that is drones, and that's kind of more what I want my channel to be. I hope you. I, I'm sure you guys are okay with that because y'all like me enough to keep coming back. Okay, so the Hubson, da, 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 gold brushes, da, 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 quadcopter advanced version. Whew, boy, that's a lot of words. Uh, 1080p, that's not bad. Phantom 3 4K was Wi-Fi, so the P4P light bridge is a massive difference, even though I haven't even flown it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing your, you're going to have a lot different experience because you're going to be able to fly this drone, your Obsidian, out a lot farther. Yeah, Squappy, you help him out, man. You got it, you got it. You guys are all about that. I'm glad. See, that's what I like about my community is y'all help each other. That's a cool thing. Um, me likey likey. And I will do more uh, uh, drone shout out channels. I will do some more of those. I will do, I've, I've got some videos I've got to make for business that are about drone business and how to do specific things is something matt has told me that he wants to do or he wanted me he he would like to see so and i think that if matt wants to see i think there's other people that would want to see these specific types of videos but they don't even know it um and he's actually going to help me create some other videos to get into even more details so we're looking at doing some really cool stuff with this channel um i hope that i can keep doing this uh uh you know the patreon would be wonderful you could help me out that'd be great uh, you fly around your neighborhood. Oh, that's probably going to be fine. As long as you're not going, as long as you don't like be crazy and fly into people's yards. Please don't do that. I mean, think about <laughs> you guys. I think I think I said this in a video. Yeah, my video about uh, beginning. You got a drone, so now what? Um, my biggest thing is, it, you know, you may want to go fly in the neighbor's yard and buzz the neighbor's yard. Just think about this. What if you were sitting in your living room, whatever, didn't want to be bothered, and then suddenly you get this drone buzzing noise coming in from your backyard? I mean, think about it from their point of view, and it would not be much fun. Uh, let me see what you said here. Yeah. Oh. Good. 
Um, okay, the Spark, but the Spark is a pretty light drone too. I mean, I hear that that thing is not the best, but I don't know the Hubsons. I hear the Hubsons are not horrible and they're not they're heavy, they're not heavy either. Ooh, excuse me, guys, you're making me tired. You're gonna make me tired. What other questions we got? Now, see, I like Scott's question about the Mavic Air. That really, I didn't even think about that, about the Wi-Fi connections. I don't like Wi-Fi. I mean, these the little drones here, like this one, you can connect Wi-Fi, and, and that's actually got a little camera in it. Oh, there you go. It has a little camera in it, uh, and you can connect Wi-Fi and do, like, POV or FPV racing. Well, <laughs> racing in one of these, yeah, right. Um but you can do that, but at the, you can control the drone with the phone. It's just so, so, so lag behind. Craziness lag, and I don't I don't like Wi-Fi at all. What is good? What do you, well, Al, what do you want to do? I mean, if you're just going to fly around the neighborhood, if the Hubson's going to work for you, it's going to be fine. Um, if you're going to be, uh, if you want to do something more, like more videos that are like look more professional, you don't want to go with less than the Mavic Air probably the Mavic Pro or a Phantom series, uh, 4, 4 Pro, 4, 4 Advanced, Obsidian, whatever. Um, if you want to go serious, you can spend 20 grand and go get the Inspire 2 with the X7 camera. But I'm thinking that that's really not what you want to go do. Oh, well, I'm glad you, I'm glad that you are defending Wi-Fi. Um, I don't know. I just think that I'd have a problem with Wi-Fi here in the city because there's just so much interference going on. Maybe I wouldn't. Um, I, I There are people that fly it here in the city. I do know that maybe, excuse me, I think that that's one of the reasons why the Phantom 2s were, fly, were doing flyaways and people were losing those left and right. I think that might be part of the problem that um, you had with the Phantom 3s, part of it, uh, that they were Wi-Fi. But again, I've never had a Phantom 3. I, I don't plan on having one. I don't think they're bad drones. Um, I But now knowing that they only run on Wi-Fi, it really makes me want to not have one. And there's also still on the Phantom, also still the Phantom 3 SE. Yeah, see, there's a lot of there's a lot of good drones you can get, Al. And whatever these guys recommend, um, you can you can kind of look at it yourself and decide you know if it's in your price range. And they're all good drones. They're not gonna they're not gonna steer you wrong. Yeah, my karma's Wi-Fi, Scott. I'm reading Scott's. Uh, makes it me a bit nervous. You you don't always need all the range. It also means you have a stronger signal strength. Like I said, important in a noisy environment. Yes, you do need to have strong, but I like, I don't know, I just don't like that. One compass on them. Ooh. I have made a sm I have, s oops. Whoa. I just want to fly 30 minutes to use flow in seven minutes. Oh. Well, technically, the P4P is Wi-Fi. Is it the light bridge is Wi-Fi? I didn't realize it was Wi-Fi. Well, 5.8 megahertz. Okay, so it's a little bit. It's actually you can do whatever the two point whatever is. I just 2.2.8 2. 2. Why have I lost my brain? Look at the Phantom 3 SE, 34K. Da da da. You're not wrong. <laughs> no, he isn't because it is running on that frequency. But it's it's the light bridge technology. 2.4, thank you. God, my brain is dead today. Um, yes, they run on both four, yeah, 5.2 or 5.8. Oh, well, she's in the UK, so it might be 5.2. Uh, what ratings are available to do with insurance damage? What ratings are available to do insurance damage verifications? Rob, you kind of threw me. We weren't talking about insurance at all. Or ratings are available to do insurance. You got, I hope you guys can help them with that because that's a... Uh, I'm I'm lost on that. One compass for the Phantom Three. Oh boy, did better. Oh, okay, boy, you guys are going too fast. <laughs> uh, Lightbridge is the communication protocol, I believe. Okay, so Lightbridge is the communication protocol for the that runs in the 5.8 and 2.4 megahertz. That probably, from what I've seen, uh, when we flew at United Center. Uh, United Center blocked off a, a set of channel for us, and we would stay on that channel, which was really cool that we could actually, you know, go into the remote and say only stay on this channel, because when we saw the spectrum go off when people got in there, 
everything was taken. I mean, it was like, it was crazy, 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 crazy. And it was really kind of nice to be able to say, no, we're only here. Ignore everybody else. And then they really kind of helped. And, and what they did, it was really cool. They actually, um, they were able to dial down everybody's Wi-Fi signal inside the building. They couldn't cancel because that's against FCC rules. But they dialed down like this one section for us, and we were the only ones allowed in it, or at least in that area. And it was really kind of nice because we had no interference. Drone base started an insurance program where you will pass your class and you will send you insurance damage missions. Okay, so that's what you were talking about. You're talking about missions. You're not talking about because I'm thinking insurance claims on your drone. Uh, so whoever you have, but okay, so I, I'm i sorry, I got confused, because I was thinking of different ratings, let me see, what are the ratings, what ratings are available to do insurance damage verifications, I don't even know, I've not done any insurance ratings, any insurance verifications, but Stan, I think Stan might know a thing or two from the looks of it, he's done a few drone base, I believe, I love it that you guys are helping each other. So something oddly, because of all the stupid um, YouTube stuff going on with monetization, I mean, I'm I'm not really affected in a negative fashion with it. But one thing I was thinking is that I should start a Twitch channel. And I sh I should start gaming. <sighs> I don't know about any industry standards um, about insurance claims. Um, I, I really wish Neil was in here because Neil knows a thing about insurance claims, but I don't. He knows more about homeowners which is probably where you're talking about. Um, yeah, but he does more internal. Internal. Thank you, Stan. I just got the email, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, DJI standards. And I don't think there's... I don't know if there's any industry standards. Not at this point, but again... I really wish Neil was in here because he knows a lot more about homeowners insurance and that kind of stuff than I do. He's really into that. I'm more into making cinematic videos and making pretty stuff. It's a new program. You have to take their class, and once they pass, they will send you an insurance mission that will take you 60, 70 minutes. Okay, Stan. Stan, I appreciate you helping Rob out, except it looks like Rob's been doing it for a while, but it's just kind of going. The GTA. Oh, that's right, Scott. You did see me playing that, didn't you? Yeah, I uh that was that was like what was it the first or second GTA that came out? <laughs> we used to play Quake 3. That tells you how old I am. Scott, were you ever in one of my Quake parties? That was a lot of fun. I think you were at least at one. I forget. We had a lot of fun with those. <sighs> but I was thinking about starting a uh a gaming channel. I wasn't going to play anything like Grand Theft Auto. I wasn't going to do that. I was going to more like these sim games where I don't really care. Duke Nukem. Dude. Totally. <laughs> totally play Duke Nukem. But we used to have LAN parties at my house. And we'd all be playing Quake 3. And it was it was a blast. Because I had my house wired for a network. You could, pr you could plug into the wall and you'd be hooked up to my hub immediately. And it was great. Duke 3D. Woohoo! Duke Nukem was better. I like I like the Duke Nukem. That was just that was yeah. But I liked Quake Three. When Quake Three came out, I I found a way to buy a bunch of copies, and we just we just played the crap out of that game. I oh no, since I got rid of my storage unit, I don't have those games anymore. Because I could play it on this computer, it, it would have no problem. <laughs> oh yes, they are. They're gonna pay for shooting up my ride. Who was the guy? <laughs> Owen, knock it off. <laughs> this I think this game, man, I was done playing it by the time you came around, Owen. <laughs> oh, I think Owen, I think Owen isn't it past your bedtime? <laughs> In fact, I know it is past the time you should be going to bed. Going to bed, young man. Stan, do I, okay, this is this is a claim I've seen. Uh, DJI claims the solid props in the air gives it longer flight time. Do you buy it? 
I don't know. They say, you know, uh, uh, who was the one that I saw the video? Was that um, was that Ready Set Drone? Was that Kelly on Ready Set Drone? I, I don't know. I because I, I haven't seen. I would I would like to see the physics on how that works because I don't. I mean, are are the are the uh, f the the flexible ones the full whatever they're out of, the the ones on the Pro Mavic Pro are they heavier by a lot or by a little I mean if they're like very I don't know yeah too many variables ha ha you're funny the Mavic Air oh dude if if you have <laughs> you're a little more boomerish. Uh, Owen, uh, what you need to do is you need to watch Ready Set Drones Mavic Air when they just did the hover test, dude. That thing is loud. I think it's I from what I can tell, it sounds louder than a four Pro, it, if not louder. It's it's is at least damn close to as loud as a four Pro. That thing sounded like a freaking nasty herd of or herd of bees, <laughs> hive of bees. <sighs> Yeah, that thing is loud, <laughs> which is crazy. It's like you, you you created these great props for the Mavic Pro with the little, the, the way the end is, is all it is the difference. Why couldn't you have just done that on the air and made that thing quiet? Heard of turtles. <laughs> the air tested louder than the three of them. Yeah, yeah, that thing is loud. It's like, why? Why is this thing so loud? I don't. I don't know. I would like to know if you could get the the flexible props like the the or what. I don't even know what you call them on the Mavic Pro. Whatever the hell those are, and and if you put those on uh, something like that, it would work. Coworker told me about getting a five dollar FAA license. True. Okay, it's not an FAA license. It's an FAA registration. You register your drone if you're gonna, you know, if it's over point five five kilograms, and then you call you you go to FAA.gov and register your drone and that's and that's what they want you to do and that's that's the law you gotta re, you gotta register your drone that's not a license that is not a license at all the license costs 150 dollars and it's a, a, a inten not a super intense test but it's it weeds out the people that don't want to really that that aren't serious about it uh foldable thank you stan yeah foldable whatever oh my god i heard of bees <laughs> Oh, nothing is too old when you're old. Agreed, RL. I agree. I agree. Yeah, but Al, that that's not a license. Tony Northrup commented numerous times in his review about how loud the air is and why when the the very last drone you released was quieter than its predecessor. Yeah, and I agree. I'm not a big fan of Tony. I mean, he's really good about doing a lot of things, but I don't know. There's something rubs me the wrong way about him. Um, but. He, absolutely it's like there's no reason that this thing should be this loud you have the technology to quiet this thing down why you're welcome al cash is foldable too it is and i will i accept cash i accept donations via paypal via, via patreon via super chat via whatever you want i accept donations because i'd like to keep this train rolling Funny thing about the air is the start button is on the bottom. Yeah, the battery's on the bottom too, and it says it has little red things that says, "Oh, you know if you're connected or not," or the th and the thing won't start up if it's connected, you know, incorrectly. And I'm just thinking, I don't want a battery on the bottom. I don't care. I don't want a battery on the bottom. So you know, the Mavic Air again, cool concept. I think, and couldn't they have just flipped that? I don't know. You know, I want. That's that's a very good point. That's a very very good point about the air, um, because yeah, it, it because of the props, because of the battery on the bottom and the the power on the bottom, it just seems some it just seems yeah, and they shouldn't be putting this kind of first generation stuff out. They've been doing this a while. I mean, the thing that they've got is the software. That now the thing that's not first generation is the object avoidance. That's not first generation. That's definitely up there product even though it's second generation well the mavic air is not a second generation the mavic air is a first generation it's just a different version it's not even the exact it's not a mavic pro you got the mavic pro you got the mavic air and then you have the spark and you also have a phantom series so you have the spark mavic air mavic pro series so these are they're all a little bit different 
Flying with Stan. Hey, got your Mavic Air Black Fly More Combo Monday. Got caught up in that red fiasco. Canceled the order. Or black from DJI Orange County. Sweet. Glad you got your Mavic Air. How loud is it? We're talking about that right now. <laughs> We're talking about your air, man. We hear it's pretty loud. Um, I think there's a lot of air software that will make its way to the Spark and Mavic Pro. You're right. I hope so. Now, the, the object avoidance, the way that it goes around things, that won't make it because that's actually in the hardware. You're getting it Monday. Cool. We'll like to hear about it. I like Honda Accord and Civic. It, 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 okay, I missed that. I think I missed something or typed something. I don't know. I'm glad you're getting it next Monday. Unless, of course, they accidentally ship it to my house. Then you'll never get it. <laughs> oh, Matt, you know how this goes. <laughs> We talk about batteries, and then we get done talking about batteries. If you if you want to talk more about batteries, I'm all ears because I want to tell you guys something. Matt knows batteries. He's been working on his Autel battery that's got problems, and you should check out his channel about his Autel batteries and because he's got a problem with it. He's, he's basically pulled the damn thing apart. He's voided all his warranty. He doesn't care about the specific battery. He's trying to get it, breathe back uh, some life into it so that he can actually do a really good thing. Quit trying to keep us on track. So there, I went back. So if you do want to see battery, some really in-depth battery stuff and some good stuff, check out Variable Channel. Uh, it tells it to do something about the way DJ is going when it's platform. When the Phantom 3 SE, it's the first time DJ has done an, an Air lesser version of a previous drone. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I understand. Sometimes Owen's too damn smart, making me feel stupid, but I'm not stupid. I don't even feel a bit stupid. <sighs> Why don't they make a longer battery? Well, you know, they're working on that. That's what the beginning of the whole video was about. I'm talking about new lithium metal batteries. Yes, I know li metal, lithium is a metal, but go read the video. Go read this article below. Um, the depth battery is one at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> depth battery. I have one of those. You guys can go find it. It's in Lake Michigan. Um, it opens the market to a new commercial drone producer. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it, it's about money. Oh, no, absolutely it is. It's always about money. Because they, they, they're just trying to get into every single market. with a, DJI wants to get into every single market and get in everybody to own a DJI drone so that they have like 90% of the market share of drones. That's all it's about. World domination. Got to have that world domination. And it's kind of screwing up my plans for my world domination. Oh, God. Here's my emoji for Brad's video. What does this say? <laughs> oh, that's easy. Come on, Craig. You can get better than that. When will Apple buy DJI? God, if they buy DJI, I am going to run away from DJI as fast as possible. The Air has more sensors than the Mavic Pro. It has 100 megabits per second. Video throughput, P4P. Yep, 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 yep. Scott's got a total point there. 70% is not enough for DJI. <laughs> don't buy DJI? Well, Matt, you don't want to, and that's fine. I don't want to. Don't beer and chopper. <laughs> don't, don't drink and fly is what I'm betting. Don't drink and fly. That's your answer. You want to get smarty pants? And who wins? I win because it's my channel. Who's got two thumbs is on a live stream. This guy. <laughs> That's such a stupid joke. <laughs> Yay, Brad wins. What does Brad win? What does Brad win? What the, don't 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 what, what do I win? But that is all made pointless when the Wi-Fi video link. <laughs> I'm with RL. Yeah, don't buy. Yeah, RL, you've got the Walk Era, if I am correct. And I, and, and oh, hell, I might go that route. Nothing. Ooh, I won nothing. It's the story of my life. Um, yeah, yeah, don't buy DJI. I'm not. <laughs> Al, welcome to the group. <laughs> this is how it goes. We talk about a topic for about 20 minutes, and then it just all goes to. <laughs> These guys are nuts. I'm just glad Brian's not here because Brian and Owen will get into it. 
Why do you think you're going to need to buy DJI mat variable? Why would you need to? Oh, because your batteries are not working and you need to have a drone that works. Are they going to ever release the Evo? Because it's been two, three weeks. Never mind that memory card. Which memory card, Scott? I missed something. Uh, my memory card is dead, formatted in my head. Can't buy the Walkera Tally unless it's a hoarded, a hoarded one. Oh, okay. For third party. Oh, yeah, for third party apps? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, until someone makes something better than DJI stuff, I'm sticking with DJI. And it, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I'm on Owen's side. I would love to buy something else as long as it had third party support. That'd be great, and and it had the quality and everything else that, that and all the other options that DJI has. I would go buy it as long and again, a reasonable price. Um, I don't, I don't want them to be the rule dominator. They stopped production. Oh, because of the walk era, they stopped production. Yes, of that specific drone. Trying to pick up baby pug with a drone is it possible? No, <laughs> that is a fake video. That is CJI. CGI. CJI? <sighs> Some days I wonder if I, my brain even works. <laughs> you can try, but, you know, good luck. I think the pug is probably going to attack the drone. Now, if you have, like, an S1000, you're not even going to get near the pug because it's going to scare the crap out of it. Because <laughs> those things are loud as hell. Poor dog will probably die of a heart attack. Ah, uh, so batteries. Okay, so we've gotten, we've talked, I think we've talked about the batteries that I wanted to talk about. Talked about everything I wanted to talk about. You guys are going to become like super patrons and, and give me lots of help to support this channel, right? <laughs> I wonder if it works on any day. Depends on your drone and your pug. Drink the pug. Oh, Stan, thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That really does help. That helps a lot. That is awesome. You guys, you're you're a wonderful, wonderful man. We, I think we should bow down to Stan. Now, Stan, if you have a specific question that's not too crazy and outrageous, you ask, and I will do my damnedest to answer it as accurately as possible. You're going to make a drone. Sweet, Owen. I can't wait. Is it going to carry pugs? <laughs> Do it, Owen. Yes, yes. I, I would be, anybody that creates a good drone, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it, dude. Owen being a young kid, I think, I think you got the, I think you, you could probably do a good job. He's going to use, he's going to use the most explosive battery he can find. <laughs> and beer. He's a little young for beer. Unless you're talking about Stan. I'm still waiting for Stan's question to see if Stan's going to ask me a question. Is there a question in there? I don't know. I don't think there is. No questions. I want to tell everybody I'm getting a new drone. I'm I'm like a kid with this stuff. <laughs> what drone are you getting, Stan? <laughs> Owen will make the controls on the wrong side. <laughs> Graphene battery. Oh, there you go, Owen. It's going to charge five times, ten times faster and and be 50 times longer. There we go. I want to know what Stan's getting. Let's, let's hear what Stan's getting. A Mavic Air. That's right. Duh. He told us, guys, he's getting the black Mavic Air on Monday. What am I, an idiot? He told us this. Because oh, I want it shipped to my house. I, it, you're going to have a good time with it. it, it you know, and, he, that, there's, I, and I think, Scott, you remember this. Uh, I don't know if you're the one that told me this, because Scott and I used to ride bike motorcycles occasionally. Um, it doesn't matter what you ride. It matters if you ride. And that's, that's how I feel with drones. It doesn't matter what you fly. It just matters that you fly, you know, and I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's a dumb looking little egg. I don't care. That's, that's, that's still cool. I like doing that. I don't care if it's a, a, a $10,000 S1000 or whatever they cost. I don't think you can get them anymore. Or can you? I don't care what it is, as long as you're flying and you're enjoying it and you're not killing anybody or hurting anybody or harming anybody. That's all that matters. And again, I do appreciate the the, the super chat. That's awesomeness. So I think uh, I can see if I call the shipper. I can have it rerouted. 
sweet. It is loud. Yeah, oh, that's that's a rerun. That's a, it'll go away. I think. Yeah, there it goes. Unless you're in a race drone community, because then you're nothing if you don't buy Rotors Riots stuff. Oh, an 8,000 SUX? No. No, no, no. They don't sucks. An 8,000 SUX. I was thinking of a 1,000, an S1,000. I have an S1. And I don't have an S1,000. If I had an S1,000, it would be sitting right, but you'd be able to see it. I'd be showing that off. Um, no, but I've seen, I've not flown one, but I've been near one. 6,000. Oh, 6,000 bucks. Robocop. <laughs> Stan, I'm a little slow. Where was that? Where, did I miss something? I missed something. Oh, yes, the S. Yeah, it, yeah. Oh, that was, was that the car? That was the, I'll buy that for a dollar. Was that that one? I think it was. The 8,000 SUX. I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Uh, I think I remember. Okay, you guys are killing me now. It's been an hour. You guys have been talking for an hour. Love it. The 600 SUX. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. Okay, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to go. Oh, now Steve shows up. Steve, we have literally been waiting an hour to start this show for you. And you just show up now. <laughs> Hi Steve, how you doing? I hope it's going. I hope you're doing well. That little dude with the glasses on the TV. Yep, I'll buy that for a dollar. Oh, see now you get that stuck in my head, <laughs> Craig. <laughs> oh, soon I am going to be doing that really soon. You saw that because uh, then Steve pops in. Yeah, Steve. I I'm, I hope everybody's doing well too. I always say that. Hey, there's a T-shirt I gotta make. Not the not the hey Steve that would be odd and somebody might make that anyway, uh, but yeah the it's <laughs> I buy that for a dollar that would be copyright infringement or trademark or something I'd be in trouble. Uh, you work for an asshole. I'm sorry you work for an asshole. Oops. <laughs> you, hey, I'm not your boss. I don't care. He's probably watching though, right? What's the six thousand meant to be making a sequel to the original? Oh, okay, okay. Doesn't matter. Now let's not get in a fight over technical details and the details of a movie in a sequel that sucked. All right. I did not like the seek the, the the remake the reboot. I did not like the reboot of RoboCop. Now we're talking movies again. Look what you did. Maybe I should start a movie talk channel. Maybe I should. That could be interesting. I used to be sus <laughs> Steve Sposs. I just resigned. <laughs> So RL, does that mean you does that mean you are admitting to be an asshole? <laughs> I wonder if I could start a if I started a movie channel, a movie chat channel where we just talk stupid shit about whatever movie we felt like that day, would that be something you guys would would you watch that? I mean some of you would. Some of you'd be like, this is drone shit. Why would we talk about that? Why would I care? Uh, by the way, we've pretty much had any, not anymore. <laughs> You're not an asshole anymore. Cool. Um, that'd be, I don't know. That's something I thought about. I I, I just want to have cool channels. We would talk about drones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I start the movie, and then you start to, yeah, uh-huh. It'd be like, hey, let's talk about movies. Oh, did you see the P4P or the P4, the P5P? <laughs> Oh, shit. From Century. Yeah. Owen, go to bed. Tuck yourself in. It's time to go night night, okay? <laughs> you might. Oh, you might like 9 30. Dude, you need to go to bed. It's Wednesday. You got school. I know you're probably super pumped about the obsidian, though. <laughs> I would be. You're probably waiting for batteries to charge up and for everything to get ready. The Dirty Dozen is the best movie ever. I've never even seen that movie. Hey guys, I'm gonna. I'm about to make everybody um, shocked, surprised, which is the same, and upset and appalled, all in this one sentence. If you want movies, email me. I'll set you up. 
Steve, we might talk. Um, we might just because I've got there's a guy I do editing videos for, but this this next bit of information, you guys might all disown me, and leave my channel and never talk to me again. So please, don't do that to me. Don't don't leave me because of this little thing. Me, I have never seen any of the Godfather movies. Not because I don't want to, I've just never seen them. So, let's just do this. <laughs> An excuse, tell us. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. Done with Brad's. You're gone. See ya. <laughs> F you all, all right? F you all. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are hilarious. I'm waiting to see you actually to see what I said. No need for video store. Oh, oh well, of course you haven't, Owen. <laughs> I know the reference, though, Scott. I know the reference. I didn't miss a lot. That's no biggie to me. Oh, wow. See, most big movie fans are like, oh, my God. That's horrible. That's dead. Oh. Hey, we got 17 people. We got up to 17 people. That's sweet. That's because Steve decided to join us. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Oh my gosh, I was so worried about you, Craig. That's the one, you were the one person. You were the one person I was worried about. <laughs> uh, it, it appears that there's a few people gone. It appears that Neil's not watching at all. He might be sitting with the live stream playing somewhere. Who else? Yeah, that's right. I wouldn't have anybody else to make fun of while wearing shorts in the winter in Florida. Jerk. <laughs> I don't like that. Well, okay, guys, look, it is getting late. Um, my family has been very, very kind and being very, very quiet because, yes, they're all here right now. My, my wife and stepson are here. They have been very good about being quiet, and they always are. Put it on my bucket list. It is on my bucket list. I just got to – I'll do it someday. Steve will hook me up with the movies, I'm sure. Uh, but, listen, I do – these. My, my family is always really great. Um they they've always been really good about being quiet. So what we're gonna do is uh, first um, tell them to say hi. No, they they don't like to be on camera. First, I do want to say I'm gonna show you the love real quick. I love y'all. <laughs> the Phantom Toll Booth when I was young. I never heard of the Phantom Toll Booth. Hogan's Heroes, yay! Okay, so there that was. I'm just telling you I love y'all by by you know and, so, and Stacy. Stacy loves you all too. She really does. So I want to say thank you, everybody. And don't forget, check out my Patreon. Again, thanks to Stan for joining up. I appreciate the patronage. I appreciate the other Stan uh, with the uh, the super chat. That was fun. That was awesome, man. I, I really do appreciate those. You, you, you have no idea. Um, until next time, uh, don't forget you have to... Ah, see, I'm messing you guys up on purpose now. So you got to check out all my stuff, my social media, my Patreon. Uh, you have to uh, do everything. You know, make sure you do everything. Anyway, until next time, you guys, fly safe. And as Craig likes to say, bye!